In example 5.9, we are asked to use the graphs of f and g to find each of the following. So we have some function notation here in part a. It says f plus g of negative two. I'm gonna reiterate this. We are not doing any multiplication here. It does not imply multiplication by negative two. That is not what the parentheses are here for. They are here to tell us that we should take negative two and apply it to f, and we should take negative two and apply it to g, and then we'll take those two results and add them together. So with the picture for f and g in front of us, we should be able to find the function values. So taking a look at um, negative two, here is negative two on the x-axis, and there's a point right up above that I can associate with f, that would have a y value of five. So f of negative two is equal to five. And then g of negative two is found in the same way. Well, g is actually sitting right on top of the x-axis at uh, negative two, which means it has a y value of zero. And five plus zero gives us five. So that's the result for f plus g of negative two. So like I said, no multiplication at all. It's just um, looking and picking out values off of the uh, graphs and then adding them together. On part B, however, there is a multiplication, but it's not a multiplication by two. It's a multiplication of F with G. So this is to be interpreted as F of two times g of two. So the same principle here applies. I need to look at the graph to determine what f of two would be. So let me come over here to two, erase what's going on with negative two. And over here at positive two, I go straight up and there's a point associated with f, which would have a y value of two. And then if I do the same thing for g, then I'll have a point right on top of the x-axis again, which has a y value of zero. So that'll be two times zero, which gives me a result of zero. And that's what we'll box in. And for the last part, part C, find the domain of f plus g. So it spells it out here in more or less uh, English language, domain of f plus g. Now mathematically, we would write that in mathematical notation as capital D of F plus G. So another use of parentheses here that is not multiplication, it means domain of F plus G. And by definition, the domain of F plus G is the domain of F uh, intersected with the domain of G. So I wanna look at the domain of F and G from looking at the graph. So I'm gonna use, there's already a number line here. So I'm gonna use the number line um, that's here to go ahead and illustrate the domains for F and G. So the domain of F, if I look at, uh, at F, it starts up here, which has a, uh, an X value of negative two, and it ends all the way over here, which has an X value of positive four. So everything from negative two to positive four is gonna represent the domain for F. Uh, if you need some more, um, more help with that, um, go back and look at section two, where we talked about analyzing the graphs of a function. Uh, that's where we talked more about that sort of thing. And then um, the uh, domain for G, I'll use a, a different color for that. The domain of G, is gonna start at negative four on the left and then go all the way to positive six on the right and it's gonna take everything in between. So remember the intersection is looking for uh, the overlap. So where do these two things overlap? Well, the overlap is going to be from negative two all the way to positive four. So that's precisely what I'll write for the domain of F plus G. It's gonna be hard bracket negative two, negative two, not negative three, um, all the way to positive four. And that's what we would box in as the 
domain of f plus g.